Okay, here's a short video about the left hand reverse round a corner, which I shall try and do in this uh, very, very quiet cul de sac one handed. So, first thing to do is when approaching the corner, drive beyond, uh, drive past the corner, but looking into the corner to assess it for obstructions or uh, parked vehicles and what sort of slope it's got. Also, the slope of the road that you're driving along is going to indicate to you how you're going to need to. Uh, apply your brakes. Use your usual mirror signal manoeuvre routine, considering a signal if there's anyone that would benefit, to pull in at the side of the road, but leaving more than a normal parking distance. So instead of just um, half a drain's width, we'll go for somewhere between half a metre and a metre. On my car, those two coloured dots, the green triangle and the, uh, the orange square, um, the curb, straight curb, would fall about halfway between those two. And we pull forwards until we've got about a car's length beyond the junction. That's going to make it safer for vehicles moving out as well as us gauging how to move back. So there we can see we've got the car almost parallel. We'll go into reverse gear, secure the car, go into reverse first to show the uh, reversing signals for anybody that's approaching from behind. There's nobody coming up from behind and there's nobody approaching from in front. So we can uh, set some gas, and come up to the bite, do all round observations. We're going to reverse into the corner that we've just driven past. Looking mainly out the rear window, we're going to creep back at a very low speed, keeping the car dead straight. So in the door mirror, the left hand door mirror, you'll see the door handle keeping the same distance from the curb that we've got at the moment. And we're going to keep moving backwards until that door handle goes just beyond the first curved curb stone. Creeping back using clutch control, keeping ourselves plenty aware of what's happening around us, any pedestrian movements, as well as any vehicles, people coming out of the houses in their front gardens. There we can see the uh, door handle just going beyond the first curb curbstone. At this point we want to steer to the left the front of the car is going to swing out to the right, so we check over the right shoulder because we don't want anything moving towards us from that direction which our car is going to uh, move further towards. And we steer enough to the left to keep the door handle the same distance from the kerb. I've put on slightly too much, the handle's coming in now, so I'm going to undo a little bit of that steering, go a little bit to the right making sure that, that handle doesn't get too close. I certainly wouldn't want to turn beyond the 12 o'clock position of the steering wheel, but as you can see I've gone back to having just about a quarter of an hour's, uh, a quarter of a turn steering on. Remembering we're looking chiefly through the rear window, but glancing frequently around to keep ourselves aware of anything moving that we might affect and we need to give way to it if we would affect it. Putting a bit more steering on now to keep that door handle the same distance from the kerb. Putting more steering onto the left, monitoring what's happening in front, checking what's what we're approaching going backwards through the rear window. You can hear me putting slightly more gas on because the car's needing to pull uphill. We had an uphill slope as we drove past this corner that we we're going to reverse into, which we noticed. And there was a little tug on the steering wheel there as well because there was a drain cover. That's the sort of thing to watch out for when you're assessing the road. Keeping that door handle about a metre from the kerb. Frequent glances into that left-hand door mirror, but most of the time looking out the rear window. And about 25% of the time glancing around. So I'm putting more steering onto the left now because that door handle is moving away from the, uh, the kerb. Now we can see straight curb coming up. I'm letting the door handle keep that same distance and the side of the car draw parallel. Checking again what's behind me. I can now see straight curb behind me, which is lining up with the top of the seat belt uh, for the passenger that's behind me. The car's almost become parallel. I'm straightening up the wheel now, turning it to the right to get it in a straight ahead position and the side of the car is lined up with that straight kerb. The door handle is just in the road surface. Continuing to creep backwards, 
we want to go back three or so car lengths. And we are adjusting the steering by five or ten minutes worth, no more, at very, very low speed, so that we can keep the car in a dead straight line. Now we can see we've gone back about two car lengths. Most of the time I reiterate looking through the rear window, monitoring what's happening in the left mirror. And there we are with the corner completed. And that's a left-hand corner reverse.